for Tim Hemmons' match against Chris Woodruff. Don't forget, by the way, the World Bowls final coming up in about half an hour's time. But uh, two sets all as we rejoin things. And here is Woodruff, it would seem, with a break, on the verge of victory. He's leading 4-2. Can Tim claw his way back from this? Well played. Once again, Henman opting to chip and charge when the chips are down. Great point from both players. Woodruff very nearly reflex that volley off. Great fight back this, three break points to get back on serve. Good try, but it's always dangerous to try and hit that corner from outside the tram lines when you've only got a sliver of court to aim at. Two break points, taking his time, sensible. the roll backhand where was the attacking top spin backhand cross court it's two break points gone Seems to hit much better forehands when he is uh, more square on to the net. Body came around too much then and he hooks it. Fourth chance for Henman. surprised if the, the prominent emotion that Tim Hemman is feeling right now is one of relief. Yes. Because from Love 40, he did not play an impressive game. However, his superior foot speed around the court bailed him out from that situation. At, uh, at Love 40, he missed that, that forehand down the line, which was, which was a good attempt. It's a, a shot that he hits well and, and 
and he's very confident in. Missed it by a couple of inches. But from that point on, he really went into his shell and, and failed to try and impose himself. There we see, we're looking at Dave Felgate and Bill Knight in the Henman camp. So here we are, the nitty gritty in the business end of the fifth set. Chris Woodruff, on the other hand, a deuce in that last game, missed quite an easy forehand, which yeah. allowed Henman back into that game. crowd getting quite involved here. We're back on serve. We're final set. It's 3-4. Henman serving. And down Sun. Sun having now gone way over to the right. Henman's right, that is. Woodruff hit that forehand solidly off the frame, but Hemin unable to capitalize with a weak return, a weak approach rather. So that's the serve that we haven't seen that often in the match so far today. But the ninth ace from Tim Hen, well down on his first round performance where he had 30 aces against Jerome Gomar. difficult shot from Chris Woodruff. He has to pick it up and bring it back down before it gets to the sideline. Got a pretty flexible wrist, doesn't he, on the forehand? His forehand's erratic, but he can come up with great things. Ball seemed to rear up at him then. He gave a little hop as he fed the shot. Yes, that was a that was a strong second serve from Tim Hemmin, kicking high into the body of Woodruff. Now a point here as Hemmin takes his time to level the entire match. At two sets all four all. Now, who's going to control the tension here, Peter, the better? Well, exactly. I think the player that, that really takes control of the, the, the tempo of the match from here will win. Who can impose themselves better on Quite the please. opponent? Thank you. Uh, will he serve very quickly after the umpire's uh, request? for silence. I um, think he tossed the ball when the umpire said thank you. Yeah, I think I would have asked for two there. <laughs> oh! 
him an appealing for. An instant replay, I think. Let me hit that one again. Now, clearly, that was very close on the baseline. One of those incredibly ugly smashes came from Woodruff, but still effective. He's terribly square on when he smashes. Almost hits it with reverse spin. But well played. Just missed his target by an inch. Won't get that. Yes, that was a punishing forehand from Woodruff. Looking like Agassiz on yes. that point. Certainly finding the corners well with his forehand, Woodruff. Couple of chances to go 5 4 up. Well, we were talking at the beginning about uh, the advantage of uh, making the opponent serve out the preceding set so that you start the final set on your own serve. Well, you see the reason right here, because uh, Woodruff 5-4 up final set only has to break Henman, and it's an immediate victory to him. Yes, you're right. It is quite an advantage when you're, when you're facing break points at the, the latter stages of a fifth set. The difference between only going a breakdown and just ending the match right there it is very significant from a mental point of view. This, this, this is a, this is a boxing match right now. Is who can, who can put their opponent away? It's strictly, it's boxing without physical danger. But it really is a mental war. Who can come up with the goods under pressure? Both players looking incredibly fit physically, I think, here, Peter. Yes, they are both very fit players. Getting on for three hours and three quarters. Not enough of that particular serve have we seen. The fast one down the middle. So a perfect start this 10th game of the fifth set. Magnificent serve. In fact, all three have in this game. And that very nearly. deep return I mean perhaps not playing that shot with as much as intent as he'd like yeah. a good service game for Tim Henry now the question is can he come up with the same sort of form on the return <laughs> 